Hello students, welcome to PSZ Chemistry channel for easy learning. Today we are going to learn about the dehydration of alcohol. So what is dehydration? It is removal of water. Removal of water. So dehydration of alcohol means removal of a water molecule from alcohol. So how this can be done? So when alcohol is treated with protic acids. So what is protic acids? So those acids which gives out H plus ions are called protic acids. So here protic acids for dehydration we can use sulfuric acid or H3PO4, phosphoric acid. As well as we can also use catalyst. So catalyst like anhydrous zinc chloride or alumina can be used. So alcohols when it is treated with protic acids like sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid uh, or by treating it with catalyst like anhydrous zinc chloride or alumina a molecule of water is removed from alcohol. So we will write a general reaction representing the removal. So HOH, so when they are treated with the protic acids and heated, so this reaction requires heat. Here what happens, we'll simply write like this, afterwards we'll see the mechanism. So like this, a water molecule is removed. So here this uh, pair of electrons will move along with OH minus. Uh, OH as OH minus and here H is removed as H plus. Therefore, this pair of electrons will be shifted between these two carbon atoms. Therefore, we will get C double bond C that is alkene as the product plus H2O. So, with this general uh, reaction, we will see what happens to primary alcohol, secondary alcohol and a tertiary alcohol. So, first we'll look into a primary alcohol. We'll take the example. For primary alcohol, we'll take ethanol as example. So, CH3, CH2, OH. So, this reaction is very important for both. So, here what happens is, I'll split up this reaction or this ethanol. Like this. See, I'll write CH2. We'll show one hydrogen here. And this is CH2 and OH. So, this is ethanol. So, this ethanol, when it is treated with the sulfuric acid and heated at a temperature of 443 Kelvin. So, what happens? This electrons with OH and hydrogen is removed as water molecule and this electrons are shifted between these two carbon thereby we get CH2 double bond CH2 plus water. So we get ethene as the product. So we are going to see the mechanism for this specific reaction. So before that, we'll see what happens when a secondary alcohol is treated with uh, this uh, dehydrating agents. So now we'll go for secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohol will take CH3, CH, OH and CH3. So this is propen to oil. So here this propen to oil, this is treated with 85% phosphoric acid and heated at 440 Kelvin. So secondary and tertiary alcohols are dehydrated under mild 
condition. So it is not necessary uh, to provide so much heat and uh, uh, reagents also strong reagent. So for secondary and tertiary alcohol, we need only a mild condition. So in that condition itself, it undergoes dehydration. So here what happens, let us split up and write. So I'll write here separately, CH3, CH, here OH, this one CH2H. This side also you can remove one hydrogen. So I'm uh, removing a hydrogen atom from this carbon. So what happens here? This part is removed as water molecule and this electron is shifted here. So the product we get is CH3, CH double bond CH2 plus H2O. So this is 1, 2, 3. So this is prop. Brook 1 in and tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol will take tertiary butyl alcohol. So CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH. So IUPAC name is in second position. So second carbon has one methyl group as well as OH group. So uh, the name is it is 2 methyl. So chain is with 3 carbon. So propen 2 all. It is 2 methyl propen 2 all. So when this is treated with the still uh, more dilute protic acid that is 20 percentage phosphoric acid and the temperature is 358 Kelvin. So here also what happens? CH3C. I'm going to remove a proton from this carbon. So all the three CH3 groups attached to this carbon is same. So we can remove a proton from any of these three methyl. So I am going to remove the uh, proton from this methyl group OH. So what happens here? This part is removed as water molecule. Therefore this electron pairs is shifted between these two carbon. So the product is CH3 C, CH3 and double bond CH2 plus water. So the IUPAC name is so 1, 2 and 3. 2 methyl second carbon has 1 methyl group. So 2 methyl prop 1 in. So this is how dehydration in primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol is done. So primary alcohol needs a stronger condition whereas secondary and tertiary alcohols uh, dehydrate under mild condition. So now we'll see the mechanism for this reaction. So we are going to see only the dehydration of alcohol in case of primary alcohol. So this reaction for this reaction only we are going to write the mechanism. So I will write the general reaction here and then start the mechanism. So the general reaction is CH3, CH2, OH, here H+. plus. So from sulfuric acid, we are going to have H+. Plus. And heat will get the product as CH2, CH2. Now we'll start the mechanism. So this is going to be a three-step process. So step one. So we'll see what happens here. So C, C, O, H. 
So to this carbon, two hydrogen. To this carbon, three hydrogen. One, two, and three. So this proton from acid. So this proton, this is from acid, and this reaction is a reversible reaction and a fast process. So I'll write here. So what happens here? There is lone pair of electrons on this oxygen. So this lone pair of electron takes up this proton. Therefore, this alcohol gets protonated. So first step is protonation of the alcohol. So here we are going to write protonation of alcohol. So what is the product here? HCH, HCH, here also H, here O plus H, H. So this is the first step, that is protonation of alcohol. Now second step, step two. Step two is formation of carbocation. So how carbocation is formed? Here, this protonated alcohol loses a water molecule. So, this part is lost. Therefore, we get a carbocation. So, this is a very slow step. So, since it is a slow step, it is the rate determining step for this reaction. So, here... This electron pairs, that is the bond between this carbon and oxygen, the electron pairs are shifted to oxygen. Therefore, this carbon become, becomes electron deficient center, thereby forming a carbocation. So, here second step is formation of carbocation. So, we'll write H, C, H, H, C, H, C, H, C, H, plus. So, carbocation plus water molecule. So, step three. So, from this carbocation, a proton is eliminated to form alkene, that is ethene in this case. So here, in third step, CH, H, H, and H plus. So here what happens, this proton is gone, that is this water molecule, for example, I am writing here, this water molecule, what it does is H, 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 C plus H, H. So here, this water molecule, that is the lone pairs on this um, oxygen takes up this proton. Therefore, this electron pairs is shifted between these two carbons. So that will get alkene. That is, here this proton is given out and this electron pairs is shifted here. So that we get HCH -H, double bond C H and H. So Ethene we get as the major product and here it is removed as H+. So the proton from the acid which is used in the first step, that is which is consumed in the first step, is again given out in the third step. So this is the mechanism of the dehydration of ethyl alcohol. Specifically, they will ask the mechanism for this reaction. For this reaction, 
you have to write the mechanism in the exams and uh, they will ask the major product formed during the dehydration of uh, primary, secondary as well as tertiary. They will give one uh, alcohol and predict us to write the major product. So this is dehydration of alcohols including primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share and please subscribe the channel for more videos. Take care and thank you.